I'm in my lab, right? It's been a while since I did live on Facebook and showed myself. Peace. Peace, y'all. So I just got done with a very good lecture. A 15 slide presentation. I'm bad from it, old, you know? And yeah, with Miss Flowers over here, y'all. Like, what's up? Like, we know where the science of Baffy. So, um, this birdie converting it now. So I can put it on, um, on Facebook, on YouTube, on my channel. I'm taking this out of my ears, my ears. It's starting to hurt. But yeah, I'm in my room. I haven't been in my room in a while to do a presentation. I wanted to, I wanted to show off my, my sweatshirt, right? Like, this is my work. I'm trying to get a good angle. I'm good. Put the flash on. See? Bye for me. We're black, baby. What's up? Look how nice this looks. Then I got my got my rosary. Me and Flaquita right here. And I got my inverted pentagram. Rocking my pentagram. Let's get it. And then we got the we got my little, we got the, the inverted pentagram right here too with the ram horns. You see that? Represent me. What's up? And then I got the 666 in the back, right? The triple sixes. The triple six. Yeah, so. I barely got done with that, with that presentation. It was good. It was really good. So I'll be putting it on YouTube. And tomorrow... I mean, it's a chat. What's what happens when you don't have a fe I don't have a female. My lips be dry as hell, right? So tomorrow we're going over another presentation. I'm gonna be going over the rise of the Christ oil. That's gonna be dope, right? So yeah, I can't wait for that one. That presentation would be really good. Yeah, but this is this is my little setup. I was over here in, in my in my little sacred area, right? So just getting it in, man. You know, covering some information that needs to be covered. I got my my goatee, right? Just at the baffy, the goat hair, or should I say the ram hair? This is the ram hair with grays. Look at the wisdom, baby. Like, well, we don't play around here. We ain't playing over here. What are you talking about? Like, yeah, I ain't, I ain't playing games. I'm a whole nother level. You feel me? Like, yep. I'm on a whole nother level shit. But, um, that partition did, I, I did good on that. So it's going to take a minute for it to, for it to convert. Then I'm going to put it on YouTube and, Share it, of course, because sharing is caring, right? So, yeah. This needs to hurry up because my computer is about to die. It pulls a lot of energy when I got the the mic and that thing over there connected to the to the laptop because it's it is not connected to a it's only connected to the computer. By USB, so it's gonna pull all it all its energy from there, so it drains the battery faster. So yeah, this needs this needs to hurry up. I'm gonna have to move my computer back to the dining room so I can charge it. <sighs> Any better glasses? I don't like these glasses too much. I like the ones I had before these. Those were nicer. A little bit more expensive, but I don't like these too much. So I need new glasses. But yeah, I'm excited though. That's why I, I decided to do a live too. Like I haven't done a live on Facebook to show myself in a while. You know, before I went before I started doing anything on YouTube, I started doing my work here on YouTube on Facebook first. Presenting and although there's a lot of people that didn't really want to plug into me because you know what? Let me tell you something. Let's tell you about people. People are scared of what they don't understand. And I get it. 
I get that. But everything I do, everything I do is coming from my heart. I have very good intentions with everything I do. And I'm here to do my work. I'm here for a purpose. I'm here to help people ascend. I'm here to help people heal. I'm here to help people to really to know themselves and give and get away from the programming that was installed in you by these false controllers. So when I do lectures, when I talk about bafflement, right? I don't know if I can see them, but you get what I'm saying. When I do lectures talking about bafflement, I'm going over the science of who he is and why why it's it's important that we learn it. It's important why we learn certain things that they teach us what is evil. The ones that 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 t- tell you about what evil is are the ones that are really doing evil. They're the ones that gatekeep knowledge. They're the ones that gatekeep the magic. They're the ones that gatekeep all the rituals and shit. And they use it against you and put you under a spell and and tell you that what you think that is evil is evil, but what you think is good is really reverse. That's the evil. What you thought was good is really the evil. Everything's been flipped, reversed, turned around, turned around, and turned on you for you to not to reach your true self. This is where we get a lot of people that are dealing with a lot of shit mentally, physically, and that are spiritually bankrupt because they're not putting in the work. They don't know how to heal. They don't know how to take accountability. They don't know how to deal with triggers. They don't know how to deal with all the shit they need to deal with. They don't know how to deal with it. Why is that? You figure, like, I, I've been live for, I don't know, for how long already. It's been a good time. I would have people watching me. I've got nobody watching me because people are scared. They're scared. But it's like, yo, if you really fuck with me and plug into me, and there's a lot of people that honestly that I have held behind the scenes when they were feeling certain uh some type of way they're asking for guidance asking for que- uh, you know you have questions that some real deep spiritual questions right and I can answer and I I, got, I have people come to me where they were dealing with health problems and health issues they come ask me I'm the medicine man what do you need how can I help you I don't I don't I'm not here to judge the doubt. Don't get me wrong, when I'm, when I'm talking about religion, I'm going to grab that religion, I'm going to choke it, I'm going to fucking break it up because we need to break up that religion. It was forced upon us by fear and, and it was forced upon us and, and it was to control us and everything that you that people demonize that's pagan and that's evil, all the Abrahamic religion foundation is based off paganism. All of it is that people like people that, that are into this Abrahamic religion, they don't get it because they're still blinded to the truth. For me, right, like it's like everything's in reverse. So the truth is the lie, and the lie is the truth, right? And they're still blinded by this false doctor, a uh, doctor, a the false dogma, and it's like they don't understand what what is real. They don't get it. So when they when they when something is deemed evil. They think that that's that's what that that's what it is, and when something tells you that is evil, don't go that way, don't touch that. That's where you should go and run to and touch it, because that's what's going to liberate you. That's what's going to free you. Everything has been in reverse. Everything has been in reverse. And when you check out the lecture I just did on the bathment, the presentation, you're going to see it for yourself how I went into it deep. I went into it how. What the Baphomet really means, what it really is. And it's like, yo, it's like, we've been lied to so much, so long. Remember, they want to control you because they're scared of you. When you start to know your truth and know that you're not just a physical body, they're afraid of that. They're afraid of you to know this knowledge. But yet, they took our knowledge. In fact, we wrote that Bible. The reason why these holy books were written, because they took our sacred, our sacred books of our sacred knowledge and teachings, 
and they took it. They took those books and they wrote these holy books. In fact, those these holy books were never supposed to be written. This is why we had libraries that belonged in mystery and mystery schools. We were involved in mystery systems. It wasn't sacred. It wasn't secret societies. I mean, we had secret societies, not secret societies. We didn't. We didn't run around in secrecy. We were selective with our knowledge and our systems and our way of life. It wasn't for everybody. As you see now that the knowledge that they took from us is in the wrong hands, it's all for a reason. You see, I'm glad that it, I'm, 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 man, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at. Like, yo, like, the more I've been, ta I've been tapping into myself, the more I've been just learning things and opening to the, my knowledge, my hidden knowledge has already been encoded in my DNA. It's like, yo, I'm on a whole nother level. And that wouldn't be possible if I didn't just give in to myself. Putting myself first. Right? It's like, how did I make that possible? How did I make that happen? By stay straight up giving in to me and who I am. Right? So, yeah, you know, there's there's a reason why I don't get to meet many people that, uh, that really fuck with me because they're scared of me. And that's a fact. Or if they're not scared of me, what it is, what it is, too, they still think I'm that dude from the streets. I'm that dude from the hood. But little that they don't, they don't realize the reason why I was out in the hood, because I had to deal with my lower nature. It was my journey. It was my walk of life. It was my it was my way of dealing with my inner demons. My inner demons. I had to understand and understood and overstand my inner demons. It's in my nature to be at war. It's in my whole fucking nature to be at war. Be at war. Not just war with myself. Because yeah, normally it is a you versus you thing, right? But when I was out there in the hood, gang banging, it was it was something I had to do. I had to learn how to deal with my god of war energy. I had to learn how to deal with this shit. I had to be in the darkness. I had to go ahead and do all kinds of fucked up shit to understand what it meant to do right. I had to have the balance. It's like, I needed to be out there. Don't get me wrong. Like, there was a time in my life, like, as soon as I turned 18, I remember I wanted to go to the Marines. I was kind of getting tired of the same shit, the same routine in the hood. I really was thinking about leaving. And I was going to. I was gonna leave to the Marines. I was like, man, fuck it. I know I'm the only I'm I'm the only son in the household. I'm the oldest, but it was my it, you know, like that's what I wanna do. And I was gonna leave. I was ready to go. What happens? I get shot. It stopped me from fucking tapping into remember, my energy is all about war. When I was reading my natal chart, my again, when you read your blueprints, all your blueprints, because we have, it's not just the regular natal astrology that we're used to. There's different types of blueprints that we tap into, and a lot of these are, are fucking blueprints of different buildings that are us. That's, I know, that's one way to put it. So when I was reading my, my, my charts and shit, like it's tr it should have said that I would have been good in the military, good as a police officer, that kind of shit, because it governors war, it, go it governors that type of shit, my energy. All my energy is all about that. So of course I was, I had to be out in the hood and gangbang. I wasn't just some regular fucking corner dude or some regular young ass gang, gang gangbanger. I was a gangster. Real talk. That's what I was on. But I was on that level. And, and, and every time I would do something, because, hey, bro, I would, I had the heart. Like, I had the heart to do it. I didn't give a fuck. I didn't have no feelings. Yeah, I had boundaries, and I had where I had some respect. 
Like, I wouldn't just do stupid shit either. I had some sense of compassion. It was my heart. But I still had to do a lot of shit. And the reason why I did a lot of shit is I had to deal with that energy. And there's a lot of people that don't, they don't, they, they think that I'm, I'm, they look at my past and they're like, man, this guy ain't on that level. He ain't on that. I've been showing that I am on this level and I am on that. It's that you just fail to realize that. That's a you problem. That becomes a you problem, not a my problem. That's a you problem. Right? Don't, don't get it twisted of who you see in front of you. Don't get it twisted and you want to bring up a past. Everything happened for a reason. Like I said, like I had to deal a lot with my inner demonis. I had to deal, deal a lot with my darkness in order to understand my purpose, to understand the light. Like I say all the time, in the darkness, I found my power, but in the light, I found my life. You feel me? So this is this is what this is about. It's like, yo, when, when you're really on another level of life, spiritually, mentally, and physically, that's at another level of genius. You know what a house of genius is? You're fucking demons. That's what demons really mean. Demons really mean geniuses. <laughs> we, we got things so fucking twisted. It's all for a reason. Everything was built for a design to keep you in fear. To keep you in shackles. I'm not in shackles. I'm not in fear. And don't get me wrong. I've done seen some shit. I've done seen some fucking crazy shit already. You get what I'm saying? But that doesn't that doesn't scare me. Like, I'll face it. Like, what's up? What are you going to do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just my mentality. That's how I grew up. That's how I was raised up to be. Like, not afraid of shit. Okay, so this is finally done. Give me a second. My file is finally converted. So it's there. Good. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm not scared of nothing. Like, what am I going to be afraid of? It's like, growing up, being in the hood, I was facing death all the time. All the time. And I was accepting of that. Because that was my that was my walk of life. In fact, when I was younger, being out there, like I said, that was my, my right to passage. That was my initiation process. My initiation process of going into the flame. The flame of light. The flame of knowledge. Right? So this occult science, all this shit that I've been I, I that I know, it's like I swear to you, when I started doing the magic, when I started tapping into my brujeria, it was like riding a bike over, all over again. It was like I was, I did this shit before. When I started studying myself, I started getting more deeper knowledge of myself. Like, yo, this all makes sense. Everything that everything that's me, it, it, it all, it makes sense. This is why I am who I am. I could tap into these energies because it's in my it's in my blood. It's in my sangre. It really is in my it's in my codes. It, it's in my DNA. I just think I didn't just wake up one day and be like, I want to be this or I want to do that. That's another thing too that people get all twisted that this is not a gimmick. This spirituality is not for the weak of the weak of heart. It's not. And and the only reason why people like buy in the buy into the whole thing, the whole concept, because of the new age bullshit. Remember, there's nothing new under the sun. That new age is a virus to spirituality. There's nothing new under the sun. Nothing new under or inner the sun. There isn't. And the fact that people don't see that for what it is, this is why a lot of people are, are lost disconnected because they're not spiritually connected to themselves. You really think you're a physical entity. You're not. You're not. People are too busy praying outside uh, outside of themselves to a fucking God that really is demonic and all, and all instance of that which is evil. And what they want to teach you, that's that. When you really sit down and read the fucking Bible, I guarantee a lot of you Catholics and Christians don't read that fucking Bible. You just don't. 
read it. Sit there and really read it. You're going to find out that there's a lot of shit that's in there that's very fucking sinister. Remember, they perverted it. They reversed a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit that they didn't put into that Bible. Remember where to get this knowledge from. A lot of this knowledge is allegory to you. If you really read the Bible with knowledge and not with a belief system, you will understand that. In fact, in the Bible, the the entity Satan never killed anything in the Bible. You know who killed the things in the Bible? That God in the Bible. Not no Satan. In fact, Satan is Saturn. It's a fucking planet. It's a planet. As above, so below. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It's a planet. Un pinche planeta. That's what that is. We're dealing with dark occultists that are into planetary magic. They know how the planets move. They tap into that energy. I'm into everything. I do planetary magic, chaos magic, dark magic, black magic, everything. Fuck, it's magic. That doesn't mean I'm going to do evil shit. I don't do shit like that. And when I do, when I do do some shit like that, because I'm coming after someone that really needs to get fucked up. Because they're out here being fucked up. Doing shit to kids and all kinds of crazy shit. Yeah, I'm coming for that neck. That's what warriors do. When you into this, when you into this magic, that's what you should be doing. Reversing their shit, reversing their spells, reversing everything that they're doing. It's up to you as a practitioner to be into your practice. Right? So it's like, yo, this is my work. I take pride in what I do. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, I, I love the level where I'm at. I ain't allowed no one to try to take that from me. You know what I'm saying? I stand, I stand my ground. I'm always going to do that. I have did that since I was young. Stand your fucking ground. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, like, yeah, it's time to change shit. I, like, I, even like, like, and I, and other platforms I had too, I've been deleting a lot of people that I don't need, I don't really fuck with. Like, I don't need you. I did not hear. Like, I got rid of a lot of people I don't fuck with. Like, I, there's, here's the thing. Like, my intuition is so enhanced. Like, I could see things happen before the things happen. Like, I already know when, I already know when someone's on, and have good intentions or not. And if I let you stick around me for that long, because I was trying to trap you. I was trying to see what I could gather from you. That's what I was doing. Hold on. That's what I was doing. Setting motherfuckers up. Seeing what else, seeing what else, see what see what they're see what they're really up to. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, like, okay, let's get rid of this person. Let's get rid of that person. Let's get rid of this person. That's it. Let's just block them and get rid of them. Like, you know, whatever happens to them, whatever spirit decides to do, spirit's going to do. Like, I don't have to do shit. You know what I'm saying? And I've been, I've been in scenarios where I have people throw all kinds of shit at me. Like, and I'm dealing, I deal with witches. <laughs> That's the ones that don't really come at me. Witch and brujas. Even with those brujas about like, well, like, what the fuck? Like, what? What, what happened? Like, you know what I'm saying? What are you trying to do? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Fucking minions? But didn't they tell you what the fuck I can do to you? Like, what, or didn't they tell you what I'm capable of doing? Or you didn't get the memo? What happened? What did we go wrong? Like, yo, you know? Like, you know, every time, every, it's like every time I gone, I gone through some shit like that, spiritual world. But the spiritual world is some real shit. I've been through some real battles, spiritually. Females trying to take my crown. Out there, we fucking, I'm asleep. And bitches trying to take my crown while I'm sleeping. Having an out-of-body experience. I was out of my body looking at her to try to take my crown. Like, what you doing, girl? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yo, I'm not the one. You get me? So
So it's like, yeah, I made peace with my demons. You know what I'm saying? Like my demons are the ones that when they need to get shit done, they're the ones that jump in front of me. Like, let's do this. I tap into the energy. Let's go. What's up? <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, that's what we do. That's what I do. You know? But I, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling my energy today. Today's Saturday, Saturday's day. Like, what's up? Did a whole lecture on Baphomet. Wearing, wearing my gear. Like, what's up? Like, what's, what you doing? Like, look at this. How nice this looks. I made this. I did this. That was me. <laughs> but yes, I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to put that 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 video on YouTube. Put that lecture out there. You know, check it out. Like for real, like again, like I get it, man. I get it. People are afraid what they don't understand. Reach out to me. Because I'm here to help. I'm here to be a service. It's like I get uh I get lonely when I'm not in service. But like, yo, know, like, where's the people I'm not supposed to help people here? Like, what's going on? Like, I mean I like I said, I do some work behind the scenes with certain people that are, you know, they, they come through or whatever, but it's like, you know, it's like I wanna do more. You know, allow me to do more. Like like I said, like I'm not here to be trying to hex people and all this shit. That's just retarded. Like when you get these the practitioners that like to do that to fuck with people like that. No, like, I create my own. I create my own substance. I'm a creator. I create. I'm a creator. I'm a fucking manifester. I can manifest shit. I'm not a fucking. I, I'm operating that lower nature like that. Not saying that there's 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 shit that's completely wrong with that. People do what they do. But I'm not on that level that I need to be doing shit like that, cursing people because I'm jealous. Or cursing this or that because I want because uh, I'm trying to take something from you. No, if anything, if you got something that that I'm interested of in learning what to do, I'm gonna ask you. How did you do that? How are you becoming so so successful? I gotta be jealous and envy or some shit. Like yo, like what was what was your? You don't have to give me all the the method, but what was the what was like? How how did you do this? Like give me some a little bit of substance. That's it. I'll, do, I'll I'll pick up the rest. Throw me some crumbs. I can make a loaf. That's my energy. Thankfully, I I'm not. I don't have to do shit like that. I'm not on that level. Like yo, like I'm not. Why did I get an error on this? Oh, that shit's gonna act up. This never happened. Give me a second, because I'm really looking at my, um, oh, why is this coming up like this? I have ever in my stuff, bro. I'm just going through my, my video I did earlier, because I got an error, but I, I, I was the first time I, catch an error so I just want to see if um this came out good so I'm multitasking yeah so like I'm saying is like I create my own substance I'm a creator like I I tap into my creativity so why do I gotta be jealous of somebody I, I don't get that like there's no reason to be hexing people. No need reason for none of that shit. Like I said, if I'm going to come after someone, because they need to get fucked up. But I don't know that. I'm not on that level. I don't have to be like that. I, I love to customize my own clothing. I like to create things. I like to do stuff like that. Like, I'm a creator. Like, I, you know, that's what I'm on. It might not mean nothing to you, you know, like, but it means a lot to me. The things I do. It means a lot to me. That's what's important. I don't give a fuck of what's outside of me. Like, it doesn't matter. What I do, if it doesn't mean anything to you because you think you're on another level or whatever, then fine, whatever. 
This is your thought, not mine. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just keep it a buck. I keep it a buck with everything I do. And I don't hide who I am. I don't have to do that. I keep it a hundred. I keep it that way. You 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 see what you get, right? And there's no reason for me to be hiding, lying, or none of that shit. You see what you get. You know what I'm saying? Like I have a lot of heart. Like I I generally do care about people. This is what I do. What I do. It's like everything I got up here that I've learned. But did my own codes and my own DNA and just stuff out like what things I read and my downloads I receive. I'm 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 like I I get so excited. I wanna share that. I wanna go ahead and bring that to the surface, be like, yo, this is what you can tap into. This is what you can tap into. We gotta take back our shit from these hijackers. That's what I'm on. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, like, I have a Patreon. That that, that Patreon is like the Akashic Records. It's the library of the Akashic Records. I have so much knowledge and wisdom in that Patreon. Like, you can join for free, damn it. Like, yeah, I got tears right there. Like, you can you can you can pay for it and 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 um uh, subscribe to every month. But you're getting substance. You're getting something of value. I don't need your your five little five dollars or three dollars and shit like that. Like. No, I'm giving, I'm providing substance. You feel me? Like every time, like when I even come out to on my channel and I do my work out there and I'm sitting there giving my energy, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, like I'm providing substance. That's what I provide. You know what I mean? But, you know, it is what it is. People are afraid what they don't understand. There's going to be a time... We're going to be like, I'm going to have to hit him up because he knows what's up, what I'm going through. Yeah, I'm going to know. And I can help you. You get what I'm saying? Like, there's and mainly be a lot of females that reach out to me, not too many males. That'd be nice to have a few homies like, hey, bro, like, I'm not feeling like this, bro. Do, do, do. Like, but I, I check more females, right? Which is cool. I don't have a problem with that because the females are the wise ones. They're the witches. The ones that they remember, they need to remember who they are. They have that power. They are the ma- They are the magic. So it makes sense to have all kinds of females hit me up when I do have that. You get what I'm saying? But, yes. I'm going to get off. I'm getting hungry. I want to chill, watch a little TV, you know? Chill with my little boy. He wanted some candy, too, so... Probably order some candy. Yeah, I like to have sweets and sometimes eat what I eat. It's okay. You know? I still put on my work. I still take care of myself. That's why I be tapping in. Right? So when I tap into that creativity and the energy I'm tapping into... That feminine energy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. That's where my creativity comes from. The merge, baby. So, I'm going to get off. Peace, love, light, darkness always can't have one without the other. So, until next time, y'all.